Ah, I see our new Abbasia bureau is well guarded by an alert and active Rafiq. Bassem, <laughs> you startled me. I was just enjoying some poetry. Oh, who's? The court poet, Sayida Arib. Her words chirp like the birds of paradise. Ah, yes, I have read her works. My friend Nihal and I used to sneak into the House of Wisdom when we were young. Hours we spent reading of gods and jinn. I always enjoyed this place. The House of Wisdom is not what it once was. Hmm. Is not our friend Ahmad ibn Musa there? He went to his workshop, as I recall. Yes. I sent a message for him to come and help set up this bureau, but he never replied. My spies could not contact him. A week has passed, and he cannot be found. So, one of the famous Banu Musa is missing in the House of Wisdom. Yes. Venture there and learn his fate. It shall be done. People, calm yourselves. The fire was small and has been contained. Allah's wrath is upon us. Most of our books are safe. The danger has passed. Old man, how did this fire start? Old man? <laughs> Fazil Fahim is old. As old as the House of Wisdom, which he commands. Forgive me, Ustadi. I spoke in haste. Can I help? No. The fire has been quenched by the Watermaster's bucket brigades. Who started these fires? Ruffians, I suppose. Enemies of the Khalifa, to be exact. What sort of books were they burning? It is too soon to tell. Perhaps the caretaker of books would know. I am searching for Ahmad ibn Musa. Ah, yes. He has a workshop here, but I have not spoken to him lately. Peace be upon you, Elder. I shall go. I still need to find Ahmad ibn Musa. But I should also speak to the caretaker of books in the library. Greetings, Yaham. If I may, where is the scholar Ahmad ibn Musa? Ah, yes. The most adventurous of the Banu Musa. His workshop is right behind me. Thank you, Yaham. Bassam, hey! Nine fingers, over here! Nihal! What do you have there, sneak thief? A book. I managed to save at least one from the fire. If they catch you stealing... They cut off a finger. No, wait. A whole hand. That is not funny. Then don't laugh. All right, you are in a mood, and I have things to do. Nothing that concerns you. Oh, secret hidden one stuff. What are you doing this time? Stabbing? Stealing? Stabbing and then stealing? That is your specialty, Nihal. Just because you lost a finger does not mean you've lost your touch. All these tools and books looks like Ahmad's room. But where is he? Ahmed seems to be working on something new. But what? The letter says these books are for Ahmed. Ah. 
Ahmed always signs his work. This is definitely his doing. Measuring tools, like my father used to own. But these are Ahmed's. Diagrams, machine tools, and other oddities. This is definitely Ahmed's workshop. But where can he be? Pardon me. May I help you? I am looking for Ahmed ibn Musa. Do you know where I can find him? I may be able to help you. Follow me. Is this your first visit to the House of Wisdom? No. A friend and I used to sneak in as kids. We taught ourselves to read in your library. All young people should follow your worthy example. The caretakers who chased us out of the stacks every day did not think so. Merely doing the jobs. And what did you study in the House of Wisdom? I loved poetry and heroic tales. My friend preferred pagan gods and dark magic. Interesting. <laughs> And did you follow your youthful passion and become a scholar? When the whole world awaits. No. You might say I am a man on a mission. Ah, well. What about your friend? No, no, she... still searches for something. Though what that is, I do not know. A shame. Uh, the sun feels good upon my skin. It's not far now. Hurry, hurry. I feel like a cup of tea. God, help! I'm under attack! Oh, that Hamid. Then tell me, where is Ahmad ibn Musa? Please, sir. I don't know where he is. Truly, I do not. Then why lead me into an ambush? He... he made me do it. Who is he? Not Ahmad, surely. I don't know his name. For he always wears a mask. And what does this masked man want? He commands me to keep everyone away from the House of Wisdom's dig site. Or else... Or else what? He will hurt my head. Like with the others. Please, spare humble Hamid. Where is this dig site? It's in the wilderness. Outside of the city. Hey, let me draw you a map. The map should lead me to the dig site. Such a massive dig. What are they up to? Impressive work, my friend. Are you digging up something for the Khalifa? Never you mind all that. The remains of past empires intrigues me. Do you mind if I take a look around? Look at the old rocks all you want, but don't touch our tools and chests. I would not dream of it. Nothing. 
I should see if there are any more chests around. This chest has Ahmed's signature seal on it. Must be his. Interesting. A letter to Ahmed from a doctor Hassan. Ahmed must be at the hospital working with this doctor. But what is a famous inventor doing with a doctor? must all link together somehow. No. Rabbi Maristan, where the best healers in Baghdad gather. Wait. Finding Dr. Hassan should lead me to Ahmed. I need to find a way into Dr. Hassan's office. Get the watch! The symbol of the order. This all but proves that Dr. Hassan is one of them. This letter proves it. Hassan is neck deep in the order. Some scholars from the House of Wisdom got burned trying to save the books. We need that room for the patients. No! That's Dr. Hassan's private laboratory. It's locked. No one must go inside. So we just leave the burned victims outside? Will someone answer me? Please, use your indoor voice. You're upsetting the patients. Dr. Hassan keeps his laboratory locked up. I wonder why. Broken window could be a way in. Oh, 
Hold on. Hold on. There is nothing wrong with my methods. Only the mechanism itself needs more subjects, more work. I certainly do not need some useless inventor meddling with the great work. Am I not the great and dreadful El Aishtiha? Maybe I should not say that out loud. Focus, Hassan, focus. The doctor is dead. Now to find Ahmed and solve this bloody mystery. Basim, what happened here? Where were you, Ahmed? I was around. I'm always around. Would you tell me what happened? Are you aware this man works for the Order? He called on me a few weeks ago after they found something in the desert. An ancient mechanism of some sort. They needed me to- And you asked no questions. I never ask questions when it comes to work. Do you? Tell me about this mechanism. It opens a path in the mind, a path to the ancient world. This mechanism somehow seems to open the doors of perception. Have you seen this for yourself? No, but I heard the stories of those who have. They are lost, Basim because they think what they saw is reality. They think they belong to this ancient world. I knew nothing about the Order being involved. If I did, I would have come to you. I just... I got caught up. You know me. You know me, Basim. You will leave this place and return to the Bureau. I will not tell a soul if you do not. How shameful it is that knowledge always ends up in the wrong hands, isn't it, Basim? I should continue investigating the library. Something must have happened.
Something in his hand. Fabric. Torn from a woman's gown. But whose? He's dead. But he wrote Mansach in his own blood. I wonder. Strange fires and a dead caretaker. Horrifying. I should hurry. Time. I... I almost cracked it. Don't worry. I'm not here to kill you. What are you trying to crack? The book. I said I couldn't. This is not a language I know, but she gave me no choice. Who? A woman named Zahra. One of the scholars here. What is this book? What is it called? The only thing I know is that it is written in a script unlike any other. And I have seen hundreds. The way Zara talks, it's more of an artifact or relic than a book. I uh, lied about my progress so they wouldn't kill me. I can't read a single word. I don't even know if it's a language. Where can I find Zahra? I don't know. She could be anywhere in the city. I... I just want to go home. All right, get to safety before the guards return. There must be something here to help me. This book makes me uncomfortable. I will leave it here. This order letter mentions Arib, an innocent reference, or something more sinister. This letter gives the location of the scholar Zahra's estate. Time to visit Zahra's estate and see if she is involved with the Order. Zahra's estate, but nobody's home. Now is my chance to search her place.
wooden weapons and training dummies. Looks like our scholar wields both pen and sword. Another book of poetry by Arib. She definitely is popular in certain circles. Zahra is definitely tied to the Order, along with somebody named El Rabisu. Learned all I can. Better get to high ground and get ready. Zahra might return any minute. Servants, prepare a glass of dead juice on ice and serve it with a plate of honeyed bread and pomegranates. Then prepare the bath salts. I am utterly beat. Hmm. Paradise is where you find it. That old fool tinkering with his worthless ancient disc and helpless patience. Bah! Of course, say that. The real answers are in books. They are always in books. Am I not right? Always say that. When I get that book translated, then we'll see who is the real head of the order. As you wish, say that. strange book would get their great work functioning. Good thing Ponein could not translate a single word. What? You're dead! Got you! I should return to the Rafiq. Join me on the roof! فلتصحبك السلامة في رحلتك. Bassin! <laughs> I knew it was you. You are not the only one with eyes that see afar. So, Tabed, you have filled the streets with eyes and spies. Such is the life of a Rafiq. Without my knowledge, eh? where would we be? Knowledge is a tool. A weapon. It can be used for good or ill. And the Order is using it for ill indeed. What have you learned? Rot runs deep through the House of Wisdom. 
They are using some ancient book, hoping to build a wicked device. Hmm. I have heard rumors of this blasphemous contraption. They call it the Great Work. The Order is experimenting on people. Lethally. I have stopped them for now. But someone called El Rabisu is running things at the House of Wisdom. Any idea about who this Rabisu character could be? I have my suspicions about the great scholar, Fazil Fahim. That fragile old man? The clues I have gathered tell me so. Hmm. It could be. The House of Wisdom will be hosting a great symposium soon. An informal gathering of scholars. A lecture, refreshments, chatter. Even the great Arib will attend. Go, spy out this puzzle with care. But do not throw your blade at the symposium. We don't want to show our hand just yet. Hmm. But if Fazil is guilty and alone, then like a viper, strike. But you must be sure. Before I act, I will be sure. The symposium should be here. Baghdad's brightest sharing their wisdom. Pardon me. I am looking for the great scholar's lecture. Fazal Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. Hey, nine fingers, over here. I told you I'd see you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. This house of wisdom boards collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihal. This is Ahmed ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? Ahmed and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. Does this remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan. Or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds.
This. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. But you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Nihal. To leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know. Catch a whiff of her magnificent aura. So rare to see her outside of the round city. The beloved is in the garden, ruminating upon the perfection of nature. Oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh, perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life, slipping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. I doubt it. There is that poet Abid loves, whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places. Spirit of the sands, pilot of desert ships. From distant lands bring to our ears, from your wind-touched lips, the mirage's song, the kiss that grips. Yes? Symmetry of sky and sea, but only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say, chaos. I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahreman. Pardon me. Is Fazer Fahim's lecture ready to begin? Indeed it is. Head inside, if you please. Welcome, one and all, to the House of Wisdom, center of learning in Baghdad, indeed, of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim Al-Kimsa, first scholar of the House of Wisdom, wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous blasphemies. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. 
Today, I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the flood who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power? Now lost to us. Zahra and Hassan are both dead, slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Sayidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please, feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. You call yourself the Great Scholar, Fazil. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage, and discard in the name of discovery? Now you hide within the House of Wisdom. The house you led astray. But I will find you. And I will exact justice for every soul you savaged for your great work. It is true. Fazil leads the Order in Abbasia. I need to hunt him down. Gatekeeper, let me pass. Those who came before are... What are you talking about? Those who came before are... Let me get back to you. I've lost Fazil's greatest word. The old fraud falls and went into hiding. How exciting. What do you think frightened the great scholar? The old fool must have imagined one of his antediluvian creatures. He's an absolute disgrace. But where did he run off to? There's rumors of hidden passages beneath the House of Wisdom. Maybe he hid down there. I have heard the rooftop gardener mention these places, yes. What a colorful detail to include in my verse. The scholar, by secret tunnels fled, chased by delusions of deities who want him dead. I need your help, my friend. Pardon me, but I heard a rumor about a hidden basement beneath the House of Wisdom. A secret basement? You must be joking. No, not at all. Surely, such a large building must have basements and cellars to store books and inks. I'm aware of no such location on these premises. Perhaps a little token of my appreciation will jog your memory. Most generous. <sighs> Murders, mayhem, and bonfires. It's time for me to depart the House of Wisdom. Father has a fine carpet shop in Samara. He always wanted me to take up the family trade. A wise choice. Now, about any hidden cellars. Oh, yes, uh, of course. Forgive me. Now that you mention it, there is a basement hatch in the northwest courtyard. Thank you. What do you mean you lost the great scholar's masterwork? I'm sorry. I was distracted by the presence of the famous poet Arib. Forget the poet! We better find Fazil's book, or we're both dead. Sounds like part of a passphrase. That 
book looks out of place wedged behind a desk like that. A history of the great scholar and his magnificent reforms of the House of Wisdom by Fazil Fahim. Not sure if this is the correct volume. Looks like somebody left a book in the stairwell. I better not use my weapons here. The Folly of Poetry by Fazil Fahim. Does not sound too romantic, to be honest. This letter mentions a private reading balcony. Might be where the reader has taken the book. Makes my stomach cold to hear such great justice. <laughs> volume written by Fazil Fahim could be his masterwork its title is those who came before are those who shall return this has to be it gatekeeper those who came before are are those who shall return. Correct! You may proceed. my weapons again if needed. There is a deep wrongness here, a reek of rot and iron. Those robes might help me get closer to Fazil. What have they done to these people? Poor guy will not need this anymore. 
this should help me blend in. You are new, aren't you? I don't recognize you. They promised you gold when you volunteered, yes? No matter. What you are about to behold surpasses all worldly riches. Don't be afraid. Are you afraid? This is my great work. I call it Arua. It will take you on a journey to another realm. Why did the first ones leave this world behind, filled with fools, I wonder, and make so few of me? We call this the House of Wisdom, but its foundations are unsound. For beneath the House of Wisdom lies the Dungeon of Ignorance, and upon such dark secrets we build our philosophies. Science is the noblest purpose. Knowledge is the greatest power. No. No? Then what? Justice. This may be the place. It may be here where lies absolute knowledge. It, it is not how I remember it. Behind the doors, it looked... Brighter. But in the end, all we see is darkness.
The scholar's notes. He believes in these ancient beings, the masters of memory. No question about it. Fazil was neck deep in the order. Basim ibn Ishaq. How did you find this place? Easy. I just followed the trails of blood. You should not be here. Do you talk to him? Sometimes. Yes. But he does not answer. I do. We have drifted apart since... since that day. But what we have seen back at the palace... This light, these sounds, we cannot have possibly forgotten. Unlike you, Nihal, I keep the past in the past. You call yesterday the past? And this jinni of yours, this repulsive shadow that crushes your chest, has it crawled back into the past too? No, it is still here. Sometimes. Even in the day, I feel its breath on my neck. The nightmare invades the real world, or has always been part of it. This is part of your reality, Basim. I am a part of your reality, too. I am your past. Tell me, will you leave me there? In the dark corners of your memory? I will not. Now, if you could invent a mechanical rug sweeper... Boss him. It is done. And how did it all play out? I am afraid this is a tale for another day. We will save it for one of our campfires. You have done well, my friend. Better get back to my work. You know how easily I get bored. Thank you for what you did, Basim. It is the truth. You have done well. One last thing. Arib. Was she... involved? Not that I know. But we must remain vigilant. <laughs>